Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching this video from and when you're watching this video, it's El Zenito. Um, now the last time we the last time I checked my YouTube, it's been blowing up with questions as regards um, the t-shirt, the mock-up design, and the fact that you know everybody has really been loving the design. But some persons have been having issues with the t-shirt that's this particular one this is the one i did the last one right this particular one some people have been having issues with this and i think this is the same thing with this or this so i'm going to now take it one by one like i'm going to break it down to the simplest way i can and every every question that was asked so <laughs> every single question that was asked i'm going to break it down to the least and to the highest so let me just see if i can just bring this down here um youtube studio so some persons ask okay how can i change the color how can i add my own um design and stuff like that but you know it's I, I'm, I'm just going to try my best to like break it down as simple as i can so first thing first how do you download so first thing first when you come to brockcreative.gumroad.com let's say we are interested in this particular design so i'm just going to click on this right now when you click on this you would see free animated 3d t-shirts and um, you know this is what you would see now it is free right but let's say you want to um, give him a token let's say you want to just drop two dollars or let's even say three dollars and i just press add to cut i'm going to remove this so i said okay it's it's changed the stuff to one dollar 95 95 cents so, but yeah, let's just say, um, no, I'm not giving as good. Let's just say we want to just download it, right? The moment you want to download it, you will just, um, okay. So just allow me to fill in my details and I would come back to this. All right, so I just filled in my details, right? And um, let me see if I'm still recording. Yeah, I'm still recording. So I just filled in my details and our page right yeah i just purchased it um i paid again it is free you can put in zero and just download but again it's it'd be nice for you to support so just like i supported you can support as well so when you support or you do not support whichever way you can just um you would have access to this and what you then do is you just um download the zip file right you just download the zip file so again, let me just go back to where we are or what we did. This particular free Blender 3D animated t-shirt is what I did, uh, is what I chose. I mean, you can just put zero, but I paid, I had it, just, I just dropped a token or something like that. So you can do that as well. So we are, we are waiting for the zip file to finish downloading. Now in the zip file, you can see we have the Blender file. You can see we have the PSZ file. You can see we have the design file and also the cache file now this remember this cache file is the animation file um if you watch my last video but again this is just for those that are just starting like afresh right you don't know anything about blender you don't know anything about photoshop but you're not interested in learning anything about blender or photoshop you just want to use um, the template for your own t-shirt design so this is the video for you um, so I'm going to pause this and let it download completely. So oh, it's downloading already. All right, so I just downloaded the file. For some reason, it's still it's, it's, some part is still downloading. Wow, this is a lot. Um, yeah, so let me check my download. So I've downloaded this, right? So I'm just going to extract the file so after extracting if i open it i would see um this three design and the reason why i'm saying this three so if i even open it let me just delete this if i open it you would notice that one other thing is still downloading and that's the the catch file right it's quite large so just give it some time i'm going to pause the video and wait for it to finish downloading all right guys so um after a very long time i've been able to <laughs> download the file um, this is the so when you download that particular file right you are going to get these two um, downloads that's this zip file and this very very large animation file so the first thing you want to do is unzip the file and just 
drag this into the folder so we have just drag this again into this folder so when you open it you have four different elements so we have the animation file that's the cache file the blender and also the psd then also this particular design template so the first thing you want to then do is this open the psd file just let me confirm that i'm still recording yeah so that's the first thing i want to do we're going to open the psd file so just follow me like take take this tutorial literally like follow every single step of um my design so again when you open the design template.psd file this is what you would see right now when you see this this has been they've, they've already explained what this is now this is the front this is the back this is the left arm and this is the right arm right it's as simple as that so what you want to then do is this you want to let's say for example now this is the shirt color let's say you want your shirt color to be black you're going to use black if you want it to red you're going to use red if you want it to be gradient you're going to use gradient so for example let's say for example i want it to be gradient i can just come here choose um where is gradient gradient right then i can just choose um basic gradient like this and try to you know i can try to edit it or just do what one thing or the other with it but i can just choose this color or any color you want but i think i am interested in red and orange or something like this yeah something like this is nice so let's say i want this color for my shirt now for the front design what do i want for my front design so i'm going to go to um my page where i store my files i'm going to bring in this as my front design i'm going to paste it there now remember just place it at the top this is my first design just follow me drag in your first design make sure you place it on on the um what's it called on the shirt right make sure it doesn't come outside the shirt it is just on this shirt right now for the back design if you want to put something at the back good if you don't want to put anything at the back and you want it to just be like your text you can just write in a text um, um the design bender right so i'm going to put this as my back design the design bender something like this i'm going to make it small just in short just know that whatever it is this is just the exact um, re replica of your shirt right so whatever you're putting here will automatically show on your shirt again after we are done we are still going to turn off all this right so just ensure that this is what you have now for our left and right arm i'm going to put my logo so let me bring in my logo let me bring in this logo so for my left arm i'm going to just drop this logo and also my right arm control j and put this logo here so when i'm satisfied with everything i can turn off the guides and the uv right i can turn off these two so now you can see that my two logos are not showing properly because our shirt color is going to be a gradient color so i'm going to change the color to white so that it can show properly now that we have this ensure this two is turned off that's your uv and your guide is turned off <coughs> after turning it off right then you save your file Control s to save it's as simple as that save your file now after saving your file you go back to your downloads to that your folder right this folder then you are going to open you can close your photoshop right you can you are going to open your blender file that's the next thing for you to do open your blender file so just follow me um step by step and you should not have any problem with this so let's give it a few minutes to like open the blender file now after opening it this is what i got um let me turn off I'm going to toggle off the camera because we're currently in camera view. So this is our shirt, right? 
and you see that this is not it's i mean if i play it it is just going to turn right it is just turning but it is not even in camera view so what i'm going to do is what you can do is turn on camera select move to and just use your m button to scroll out then bring just drag your shirt out like this then scroll in so all you just did is you just scrolled out brought you brought up your shirt and you scrolled in back right and if you turn off your um, camera you can see that now your shirt is in front of your camera and um, before it was not in front of the camera and that, i guess you might have that as an issue but if you don't know how to navigate blender you might be stopped so i just explained how to do that right and still having your move to selected you can push it wherever you want it to be pushed right now if you want to check if your shirt is good to go come up here and you'll see viewport shading you see different shading option this is our wireframe this is um, normal shade and this is um, material preview you can see that our material is not is not yet there right and this is which one and this is what this is the final one this is like the original the render itself now most people would have issues with this the fact that your your file is not showing on this particular thing and how do we then edit this to do that let's close it back you can save your file right save and close now open this blender file again just follow me um, again if you probably have issues like this this is the best tutorial to watch it's going to help you navigate all those challenges that you have faced in the past the fact that whatever um, design you put on your PSD does not show on your blender I'm going to show you how to edit that now you can see that what we have here is different from what is showing on the blender file now what you then do is this go to file save a copy now save this as design template 2 just save it as design template 2 right when you finish saving now open your blender file again remember i told you to save your blender file the reason why i said you should save it is so that your shirt will still be at the top here and if you didn't save your blender file now just go back to the um, few minutes where i showed you how to bring up your shirt here now we can see that your texture is still not the same then how to then um, address this is when you look down here you'll see under your material pro um, properties right you would see what we have here design.jpg design.jpg is not what we are interested in using right so you click on this folder option and choose design template 2 and press open image and automatically you have you can see your um, stuff showing already right you can see showing already let me talk on my camera back and if i go to the render view this is our render view you can see it looks really nice again whatever you see here is what you have created in your psd file so if you don't want your element to be this big you can reduce the image in the psd file and we save but yeah that's basically how to adjust this now when you place let me go back to this when you press play you will see that it is just turning around right there is no animation to it but it is just turning around so if you go to modifier this modifier sorry let me check yeah modifier i keep forgetting if you go to modifier right when you open modifier this is what you will see generally so click on this button this arrow button and bring it up like this so it can show this now you will see that something is missing object part is missing this particular um, stuff is missing so click on it click on um, this right again let me show you this is missing right but this is what you are interested in so click on this folder option folder menu or folder icon click on it now locate your downloads button um, your downloads that you your download right i'm confused locate your download go to your 3d t-shirt mockup that you downloaded this particular one now this is what we're interested in this catch dash 001 dot abc click on it and press accept 
now when you accept it it's going to take a while to like load on your system depending on which system you're using now after accepting it your as you can see here your shirt is disfigured somehow i don't know now again this tutorial video is new for me right i'm just going with the flow right so i'm i'm, I'm assuming that if you are following this tutorial the same challenges i am facing is what you will face so whatever step i'm taking to curb those challenge you so you also should like take that um option so what you want to then do is make sure your shirt is selected and also make sure your move to is selected then bring it down like this let's zoom in back so when i play my when i play my um my animation now you can see that the animation is no longer the rotation animation it is now a walking animation right now this would take a bit of time because it's very very it's a very very large file right but you can definitely see let me you can definitely see that your your animation is now like it's now a working animation and when you are done with that come to your render make sure it is cycles and gpu compute right um under here you can leave it as it is 0.01 and the max sample can be 20, 250 you can make sure the noise is on right then go to output your output is currently uh, portrait version which is this but if you don't want it to be portrait and you want it to be a, a square like a dp size you can make it dp by choosing 1080 by 1080 and now you see it is like this right then you can look down you can see where is it going to be saved i want it to be saved on my desktop so select desktop now choose ffmpeg video right that's what i like using again make sure your container is matruska and your video codec is h.264 medium quality if you have a low-end system like mine my system is not too low but just so that my animation can be faster so yeah when you are done if you want to zoom in more you can press n go to view select camera to view then zoom in and when you are done turn off this and press n back so yeah that's basically it and save your work Control s to save your work ensure you save your work and after saving you can go to render you can render animation or you can render image whichever one you want to do so if i render image let's see how it looks like you can see this is it's looking really cool right very very nice and the texture of the of the shirt is thick as you can see the texture of the shirt is also thick now this has finished rendering i can just save my work i can save it go to image save as and choose um you can change it to probably um shirt and just save your you can just save as png as well choose png and save now when you open that your folder you see your design that's been saved right now if you want to then render as animation just choose render as animation and it will render so yeah that's basically it um if this resonates with you uh, give me a like a share and a comment and i will see you next time